Today's video is all about the plane of the shoulders. Where should they be going into the top of the swing? Where should they be coming into the downswing? We got a great question in from Raza Khan. He wants to know more information about the shoulder plane, the tilt of the shoulders, both in the transition and then coming on the downswing. And I, it's an important subject and you can literally almost find out the golfer's skill level by just watching this one element of the swing. And what you're gonna see in the pro ranks, like you see in our pro golfer here, is that lead shoulder, the left shoulder for a right-hander, is going to stay down, is going to stay lower than the right shoulder, the trail shoulder, way deeper into the golf swing than you'll see in the amateur ranks. And it, it you can't get a full picture by just looking at one camera view. That's why we put both our down the line and our face on view here. So let's just take a look at what happens here with this golf swing, golf swing, because this is very representative of what we see amongst good players. So right off the bat, we see the shoulders start tilting on a fairly steep angle. That's gonna help us pitch the club up on plane. We see a lot of amateur golfers with too level of shoulders, too flat a shoulder turn. That gets the club sucked in behind them. They get out of turn very early in the backswing and then they're left with an arm raise. So they get out of sequence right off the bat. If you keep that left shoulder down or that lead shoulder down, you're gonna have a much better start to your backswing. And that continues on the way up. So right up here at the top of the swing, we can see a fairly uh, tilted line through the shoulders, both face on and down the line. And what's really important is what happens here. The arms drop, they come down very vertically as that tilt still remains intact. So this is the idea that we're looking at. And this is what we call getting the hands under the shoulder turn. You see from the down the line view, that shoulder plane really doesn't change, but the arm, the hands, the, the, the grip are really getting under that shoulder plane line. That's the time in the, in the downswing where the turn really hasn't ramped up the full speed yet. So it's a great time to get the hands under the turn. So when that turn kicks in, you're not driving your hands outward too soon. Then from the face on, we can see what happens is that left shoulder stays down and the arms are coming down at a faster rate. because the arms are getting quite low by the time the shoulders, say right here where the shoulders, the hips, the knees are all pretty level. And we can see we got the hands, the grip of the club down there almost to that rear thigh. What we're gonna see with um, club golfers and the, the, the prevalent move there is at the top of the swing, they're actually gonna get the hands down. They're gonna drop the arms by tilting the shoulders. So we see a lot of left arm parallel, shoulders parallel in the, in the amateur swings. And it, it really gets your spine out of position. It really gets your pressure out of position. It does a lot of things that early in the downswing that you just really can't recover from. So if there's one way to think of this downswing is this left shoulder needs to stay down for as long as you can stand it. Now it's gonna feel like a long time, but it really just needs to be a few frames here if you're filming your swing, just a few frames on the video camera to where these hands can get their momentum coming down before that turn kicks in. No one forgets the turn, but we have a lot of golfers that forget to get the arms in position, forget to get the hands in position on a good hand path coming down into the ball. And that really, the sequence here in, in, in Raza's question is fantastic because it's talking about the shoulder plane right out of the transition into the downswing. And that's the key part. Keep that left shoulder down as the handle gets started and you're gonna be well on your way to making a downswing that really mimics what the best players in the world do.